<clears throat> hey guys, super fun Katie. I am Katie and welcome to my channel. I have some serious, or you know, news I would like to talk about. But first, I want to say hello. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend. I have no wisdom or much of anything but experience to a degree. And I would like to share that to you guys. Thursday night, I felt kind of blue. I thought the best way to get rid of being blue is to do CrossFit, because that's what I do. And so I did that, but I still felt sad. I still felt depressed, maybe. And then I had a little low-level panic attack where didn't feel like I was dying, but didn't feel right, where I had a hard time breathing, and I, everything was just bursting to the point of tears were coming out. So that was fun. But I want you guys to know this, not for me or for my sake of fame or getting attention or anything because I don't want attention. I would rather be under my blankets and not talk. But the only way to but for the only way to let people know so that they don't feel alone is to speak. Because depression sucks. Anxiety sucks. Panic attacks, whatever level, sucks. And when you think you feel alone, you feel like you're in a cave. By yourself trudging through the path and I want you guys to know that you are not alone and I don't have answers and I don't have the best wisdom to give the only thing I have are these ears that I call ears <laughs> but it's just at least in the state of Seattle or Washington, whatever you want to call it, is a very depressing state for the fact that we're very gloomy and we don't get much sunshine compared to other states. But obviously depression comes in all different forms and sizes and I want you to know that you're not alone. You are not alone if you think you're the only one who cuts themselves. You are not alone when you feel overwhelmed of what this world holds. You are not alone. And the only thing I have that makes me not alone is my relationship with Christ. And I know that not everybody's a Christian and I know that everybody, not everybody, um, believes in a higher power. But also, I am stepping forward to finding treatment to get diagnosed because diagnosing yourself is just not always the best because you're not allowing somebody who paid a lot of money to know what stage you are in yeah I don't know because living in this world thinking you're the only one is sad and it happens and it sucks and if I can be a voice to help you to encourage you to love you that's why I'm here and I'm hoping to log my videos of what I'm learning about my symptoms or what people say sickness but I don't like that word because I'm yeah, I don't know why. But there's definitely something that's in my brain or in my ba chemical balance or my heart of being that it's not okay. Or at least to get help to figure out how to work on it and how to fight this fight. Yeah, I don't know what else to say. But I just want to be your voice. I want to support you. I want to be your cheerleader. Because 
I knew that I needed it when I was in high school and I never got it. And if I can be yours, whatever age you are, that's what I want. And I hope this is a great transition to say goodbye, but I hope we can talk, hang out, express our feelings if that's needed, or just you need to throw up on somebody's ear of words that you need to just talk. Because sometimes we don't need to be preached at. Sometimes we just need a voice or at least an ear where we can talk and not get an answer, but it's the release of knowing that somebody else knows your secret. Even if it's just feeling depressed and you have no idea why. Or you have anxiety and you have no idea why. Or you feel certain things and you don't know why. But I want you to know that you're not alone. And I think you're awesome and you are special. And I wish I heard those words when I was a kid. Because I think it would have helped a lot more instead of somebody thinking you're weird. Or teasing you and maybe people tell you that that you're awesome and amazing but you're in so much denial that it doesn't mean anything to you and so I want to say it to you because I think you guys are cool especially with subscribers but even my non subscribers the people who found this hey how's it going I want to know you. I want you guys to feel safe. Because that's so important. Alright. I'm rambling. But I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. And I would love to chat and talk to you guys. And have a great day.